Reporting to you live from the Trevi Fountain here in Roma, Italia. It's live from last week, episode 127. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, on this first day of my Italian trip, we are in the beautiful Greve in Chianti. In an Italian agricultural tourism area, staying in a place of a family winery with these beautiful views. And last night, we went into the downtown village area for some pretty good small town dinner at Ristorante La Cantina with my first taste of original Italian pizza in years. And last night, we also got to see this field of fireflies where this video just doesn't make it justice on how beautiful these views of the fireflies were at night. But yeah, today, having a full day to relax, being able to catch up on some lost sleep that I had not sleeping all day traveling yesterday for what seemed like one of the best sleeps of my life. We also had this beautiful breakfast that we had with our accommodations this morning in a wine cellar area where we stayed before setting some time aside for a beautiful wine tasting tour. Who is this? On site. night after the wine tasting and having the wine flowing glass after glass after glass and meeting these cute pups at our accommodations we went to walk around roaming the beautiful streets of this town before settling on this restaurant the Trattoria di Borgo and here guess what we did guys you guessed it more wine tasting where the wine was flowing once again, wine glass after wine glass after wine glass. We also had this delicious Italian feast served in front of us, where the pasta wasn't too flavorful and was cooked just right. We then made our way back to the accommodations, where I passed out at about 11 o'clock, where my body just wouldn't sleep for more than three hours, with me waking up and getting up before Guess what? 3 a.m. So I decided to be productive for the next three hours, editing some of my live from last week footage from Joe and Tyler's wedding until sunrise, when I was finally able to pass out. But a couple hours later, we were able to wake up to get some breakfast once again, before passing out and getting a cumulative new record of sleep over the night, Getting a total of more than 9 hours of total sleep? A new record here in Italy before coming out and enjoying this beautiful pool. But yeah, before I continue on with a quick little dip, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my coolest neighbors that I had while I was living at Wysik. This birthday shout out goes out to you Amanda. Happy birthday Amanda. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my other Wysik friends who would be happy for me being in the area of Florence. 
a place where one of his favorite former football players, Mutu, used to play at. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lorand. Happy birthday, Lorand. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to a legendary dance teacher who had taught me and several other talented dancers when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Gene. Happy birthday, Gene. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah guys, let's take a quick dip of our toes in this beautiful Italian pool and see what else we got planned for us later on. So yesterday, after that 45 minute journey, scaling these steep roads through the rain and a thunderstorm in the background, we went to this village across the town that you guys can see here in the far horizon to a nice little place called Monte Fiorale with all of these beautiful and scenic views. And on our return journey, going down the hill, we went to a local gelateria for my first gelato in years, trying out the tiramisu and pistacchio gelato. My first Italian gelato in years. <laughs> so delish. Pistachio and tiramisu. And for dinner in the little piazza here, we checked out a nice little steakhouse at the Bottega del Moro Ristorante. Trying out their specialty, sangria. Me ordering their wild boar beef stew. And the family ordering a full one kilogram slab of Fiorentina Bistecca. And if you guys ever find yourself visiting this beautiful restaurant in the future, I would highly recommend it because the food was absolutely delicious. Anyways, now we're checking out of our place here in Greve to head through Florence to get back to the city of Roma. So after that fun time that we've had in Rome so far, I'm recalling that I wasn't able to sleep that well last night. Passing out for about 4 hours at around 3 a.m. I was feeling pretty tired on the speed train ride here to Rome with the wife. But to wrap up things for our last night here in Italy, we went out for some delicious food and drinks with a couple of our friends at the local Mino Ristorante. Cheers! Last day in Rome! <laughs> With this special guest that we haven't seen since our trip to Singapore. 
<laughs> it's Jess. What? Special guest Jess. I'm back in the vlog. <laughs> but yeah, before I head in for my last sleep on this trip, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends that I'm remembering from my YSIC days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. We've also got a birthday greeting to a legend on the beaches of Ash Bridges, who is always down to set up volleyball nets for the beach volleyball community. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Rob. Happy birthday, Rob. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, about last night, staying up late, reuniting and visiting Jess shortly after we said goodbye to her, we popped open a couple of bottles of wine that we got from the wineries that we visited here, chilling in her hotel room late night with friends. Last night in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> Cheersing to life and the fact that we all met up with each other halfway across the globe. Cheers! Who's in Invaders. Invaders. I love. Cheers. Cheers. We eventually passed out around 2 a.m. just to get a quick nap in before waking early to say goodbye to our Roma accommodations, hustling ourselves to the Roma Termini train station, and buying express train tickets to get us to the airport for our morning flight. But before we parted ways for our separate trips and flights home. Okay, bye wife. Bye. See you bye. in Toronto. <laughs> we were able to enjoy this Neapolitan pizza that we got for takeout from last night's dinner for our last breakfast here in Italy. Anyways, as I continue on with another 24 hour journey back home to Toronto, we have a quick birthday greeting to a fellow friend who used to take care of my Lola V back when she lived at Kennedy Lodge. This birthday shout out goes out to you Galatha. Happy birthday Galatha. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Now after having a nice vodka and tomato juice on my eight and a half hour flight, I was greeted by things at the US airport that I don't like about well, the US airports. Although I didn't plan to leave the JFK airport on my layover, they still had you pass US customs, go through baggage claim, then exit, only to have to try to go through all the huge lineups in security again, waiting upwards to almost an hour just to get to your connecting flight, which originally could have been just a few gates away. And since I had to go through security again, guess who couldn't bring their aqua frizzante with them? But once through security, I was able to fill up my water bottle again, but this time with the boring aqua naturale, the type that I just didn't want at this time. But on my eight hour layover here at JFK, the good thing was I was able to be productive, uploading last week's Live From Last Week episode, while sitting down to work on this week's Live From Last Week episode that you guys are currently watching at this time. But presently, I'm back at Toronto's YYZ, getting to the airport approximately an hour before the wife gets in from Europe, to see her for the first time since we parted ways just over 20 hours ago, to surprise her and pick her up from here, the International Arrivals Area. <laughs> surprise! Welcome to Toronto. Bienvenuti a Toronto. Let's go. Let's go. So, just after midnight, where we start today's segment, recalling when I brought these babies home from the wedding last week, we finally got to the condo after 24 hours of traveling. Hi, place. For me to surprise the wife with that bouquet of flowers. <gasps> what is this? Surprise! Oh, you brought home halat from the wedding. Ooh. <laughs> And while we were starving from our long travels, we went to a place that we frequented in the past that we knew would be open at 1 a.m. Feasting on something other than Italian food for the first time in a week here at the perfect Chinese restaurant. It's so good. And with this fortune cookie that I got, 
I think it's a sign that I am ready to go traveling once again. Anyways, after passing out for the night, it was back to reality, doing things like filling up the car with gas, washing and folding the laundry, as well as watching on TV the Blue Jays play baseball once again. But yeah, later on in the day, throwing back to this episode when we last went to Blueberry Swim Meet to cheer him on in the past, we drove up to Markham to visit the Markham Pan Am Center for the first time, meeting up with his proud parents, Atisha and Kuya John, to be his cheering section in the nephew Blueberry's most recent swim meet in his young swimming career. Go, Jaren, go! The blue cap. And after doing an amazing job at his swim meet today, we took the nephew on this mini carpool with this Rubik's Cube challenge. Rubik's Cube champion in the making. <laughs> Go solve it. You can't say a word unless you solve one color. Before going and celebrating at the local Moxie's and chowing down on this loaded cheeseburger meal. And after visiting Atisha's new condo and parting ways, I decided to take the wife on a nice, beautiful, romantic walk through a quiet neighborhood. One that I last visited many, many months ago. Stopping by to admire the beautiful flowers and to check out the beautiful scenic views of the famous Chester Hill Lookout. From Rome to Toronto. I also had taken her to another place that I last visited a couple months back for some more views of the beautiful sunset skies here from the top of the hill at the eastern part of Riverdale Park. But yeah guys, now back at the condo. Before I wrap it up for the evening, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you Manang Deeding. Happy birthday Deeding. I'm hoping that at this time, you and the family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So waking up after a pretty decent sleep last night, going to mass here for the first time in a while, the wife and I went to Sunday morning service here at the Our Lady of Fatima Shrine Parish in Scarborough, before meeting up the parents again at a local hotspot that we usually go for lunch, Ellie's Haka number one, eating their patented lollipop chicken and their lunch specials. Mika, you're missing this one. Haka. We celebrate when you come. But tell us when you're coming, okay? <laughs> we also received this gift of a pot of flowers from my mom to lay upon Lola's site at the cemetery this afternoon. Bye Lola, for next time. We'll see you soon. Where we also saw this spectacular tree with some unique flowers on its branches. Anyways, resting up today before I go in for my first shift since I came back from my trip, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out, going out to one of my beach volleyball friends who actually owes me a twos game sometime in the future on the beaches of Ash Bridges Bay. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Krista. Happy birthday, Krista. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my titas in the Philippines who I last visited when I was there a couple years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tita Tess. Happy birthday, Tita Tess. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends who you guys remember me dropping off some Mini Cooper tires to back in November. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Cha Cha. Happy birthday, Cha. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Today, it looks like after coming back to work, my sleep pattern has gone to the dumps once again, getting a post-night shift nap in of less than two hours. So, catching up on things that I needed to get done, because I actually want to play a little bit more tennis this summer. After going into my locker and taking out my tennis rackets with their busted tennis strings, I went on Facebook Marketplace to see what kind of resources are available for me to get my tennis rackets restrung. Took the Baby Rouge to a place nearby close to the Scarborough Town Center. And after just an hour of service, got these two beloved tennis rackets of mine restrung. 
And now, look at me guys, ready to hit the tennis rackets sometime in the near future. Anyways, wrapping up with this scenic shot to the west of the Toronto sunset on the horizon over where the area of Canada's Wonderland is, we will wrap up this week's episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.